Hey, well, hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd create a video uh, to um, demonstrate a very quick guide on how to install uh, a Cisco ASA appliance in GNS3. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this is because generally when you install a Cisco ASA uh, in GNS3, um, it tends to work with a VNC uh, screen sharing application, which is, can be very cumbersome um, and difficult to operate in. Uh, so we're going to make it so then every time you load the ASA into GNS3, it'll on constantly default to the serial connection where you actually it can can use your terminal or PuTTY or secure CRT application, which is, makes it a lot easier to, to operate in. So what we're going to do is you go to GNS3 preferences. You're going to go to QVM. You're going to hit new. Now there could be a window prior to this one where it, where it asks you where you want to, where you want to install uh, the QVM. Um, you're going to want to run it on your GNS3 VM, especially if you have VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion hosting uh, the GNS3 VM. That's where you're going to want to install it. I have a different setup, so therefore it's kind of jumped that screen. But uh, as soon as you select that, you'll get to here. Uh, click uh, Cisco ASA as the name. You want to give it uh, some memory. Um, 256 is way too low. Minimum I've seen it operate in is 1024. So I've seen people operate with 1024. Um, I used to, I, I usually give it double that. So 2048. Uh, just, just let that be for just a second. Let it just default to kind of Telnet. Uh, we're going to select a new image, browse. We're going to select the image, open. Let it load. The file onto the VM. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Finish. And now it's on. So now there's a couple of things we need to do here. So we're going to hit edit. We're going to change the symbol to the ASA, which I believe is here. ASA, we're going to, it's in the category of security device and you want to change this to VNC, just temporary. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a, just a moment. On the network side, uh, the first port you want to do management. And then over here, you want to call it gigabit Ethernet. And what I would do is I would go zero like that and the number of adapters that you want are eight this is normally what uh, it's a good size here especially if you're doing large topologies all right you're going to go to advanced settings all right and you are then going to i believe uncheck this for a moment okay so at this particular point, you want to hit OK, OK, and then we're going to go into our security devices, and we're going to create a junk project. We'll call it uh, ASA, for example. We'll drag this guy over, OK, and we're going to start him up, and we're just going to have to wait and see and power this guy up. Uh, this part is a little bit time consuming. If I do console, all right, you can see that the ASA is loading. Okay, so it's going to reboot twice, and then at one point you should get to like a Cisco ASA prompt. And what essentially we're trying to do, we're trying to enable 
the ASA serial point uh, serial port to be able to actually console into it. All right, so here we go, we're at the prompt. Enable. All right, just keep on pressing enter and it'll eventually work. So uh, you wanna do config T. No. Go to config T, CD, port dump, info, copy, port dump, CSG equals zero. Zero. Okay. You want to verify that the copy exists by doing a dir. Okay, you can see that this is exactly what we're kind of looking for here. All right, at this point, we should be in good shape. So let's power off the ASA. Go back to the configuration. Okay, so we're gonna choose console type telnet. Press okay. Oh, I didn't take it. That's it. Now you have it in the console. Enable and just enter a couple times. Hope you enjoyed it.